Yo, what is up, my people? Hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. And right here, I'm going to bring you the third encounter. I'm going to give you some strats that we've been using with the team. We've been able to complete this raid 29 times. We've been able to help a ton of people from the chat get the Ravenous. They usually get it on their first run if they get all the keys. They get really lucky, man, and grab it from the last chest. But yeah, with that being said, man, I hope this video helps you guys. I know the third boss is probably the hardest boss in the game, I would say, as far as the raid goes. But yeah, with this strategy, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, hit it with a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channels, man. Let's get it, baby. All right, so this is what we've been coming up with uh, from the stream, you know, with the chat, with all of our collective minds right here. Shout out to my boy, Carlos. But we've been uh, chilling up here and I, I'm just able to heal them up here much easier. They're not getting like stuck in the foam from the boss. And this is where you want to damage the boss from, in my opinion. This has been the That's smoothest happy, run. Yeah. Like as far as that we've done with viewers, it can be pretty hard because not everybody's build is always the best, you know? So we got to work with what we have most of the time. But right here, you would just run uh, five DPSs. You will have a tank which would be your sixth player, a healer, your seventh, and a hazard build, your eighth. So really easy. Try to stick with the group. If you're from the, if you're far away from the group, I'm not going to be able to heal you or your healer is not going to be able to heal you. And then you could just burn down the boss from this safe position. All right. So the hazard player will be at the bottom, which is Ronin. Try not to be too close to the boss because she does do uh, health damage. So even if you have hazard, you're still going to take that corrosive health damage, in my opinion. Okay. So right here. You're going to make sure you are two in each console and you're going to try your best to hit your consoles on time. But yeah, I've done this with multiple groups and this is by far the easiest method to DPS the boss from the second floor. OK, so the top floor is the first, in my opinion. Then you drop a level down and that's the second floor. And then the bottom floor is the third floor, in my opinion. But yeah. All right. So in, when you're in the method of doing these valves, is when I suggest you have everybody moving on up to the top, okay? You don't want the people to stay at the bottom. I would, I, I know it's kind of crazy, but me, I like being at the bottom as a healer. I like doing the levers right. because I can like, if I get shot, I can heal myself. You know, not a lot of people have that, uh, that chance to heal themselves when they get hit or hurt. So, you know, I feel like that's very useful. Then I'll go upstairs myself too. You don't have to worry about having rockets to uh, DPS the boss when he's on the turret. Just DPS it with your weapons. You do a lot of damage. Get that turret. A lot of people get like confused or tricked by using the rockets all the time. You don't have to. You can easily DPS it as you see right here. All the boys just DPS it and it's gone like instantly. So the rockets are, are good. You only need two rockets, but at, in the same amount of time that it takes you to get two rockets, you could just DPS it, maybe even faster, right? So right here, the strat again, this is with a different team. Like I said, we help viewers every day on our channel over there on Twitch, and I'm just gonna try to keep him alive the most I can. I got All the viewers are just sitting up here. All the gamers, we're just chilling. We're just healing. If you want, you can send your tank down there. I, I like to keep my tank and everybody right. is healed the whole time and just have my hazard player do that work. Perfect. And uh, really easy, man. So shout out to everybody in the clan, everybody that helps me help viewers. You know what I'm saying? You guys are doing uh, God's work like they tell us, man. So keep it up, boys. I appreciate you, man. Special shout out to my boy Ronan and his brother Ark, who have been uh, helping me daily. So let's get it, man. By the time I'm done, by the time you're done hitting the bottom levers, everybody should already be up top, ready for the DPS phase. And then you'll just go up there. You'll heal yourself, of course, because you're the healer easy. You'll get heals while you go up. Right here, I was phoned for some reason, man. And this is so damn annoying, yo. <laughs> I couldn't even get out the phone, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. So this this type of stuff is going to happen to you sometimes, bro. So just uh, be able to, you know, adapt to the situation, right? So right here with another group, we're up here. And it's, like I said, super simple, man. If you feel like it's easier downstairs, I'm going to tell you 100 times, man. It's not easier downstairs. It's a lot harder downstairs, especially when everybody's getting foamed. And uh, you could get the same sequence where you have everybody sit up here together, getting 120 plus heals, getting all that fat damage from having max armor. Just phenomenal. Heal your hazard the best you can. Like I said, your hazard dude is going to die because of the health damage. 
So, you know, he's going to try his best to kite him away from the middle. You know, you want him to kite the, the boss go. towards the consoles on the bottom. Great. So, good job. These guys, some of these dudes have never done the raid. So, it's really good to uh, be able to help these people, man. All right. So, I got another tip for you guys. If it's fire, you can hold the button up top with your hazard bill like I showed you. And you can instantly pass the fire stage all right just in case you guys don't already know this i want to make sure i drop this gem on you all right so i got another tip for you guys if it's fire you can hold the button up top with your hazard bill like i showed you and you can instantly pass the fire stage all right just in case you guys don't already know this i want to make sure i drop this gem on you so once uh once it's one phase you kind of want to rotate to the other uh spot so if it was just fire, I'm going to tell the team to rotate to electricity and to pressure. That way they could be there a little bit quicker, you know, and I'll I'll be able to move on this quicker, keeping the pressure low and making this whole encounter easier. OK, all right. Once you ran the sequence a few times, I'm thinking three or four times, you're going to open up the bottom of uh, the heat where you got to line up these beautiful symbols. All right. So make sure you check out my previous guide for the full guide. If you want, this is just giving you a little bit of tips. But yeah, once you do that, you'll be able to do this, start moving into this zone and your pressure is still low. So I would just advise you putting your whole team on bottom and having them like, you know, work together to keep the guy that's telling you when to stop oh, clear. Yeah. You could do a few of them if you wanted to. Like you could do all three of these at the same time for like maximum efficiency. Stop. But you know, that's up to you. You will have a lot of people saying stop and go and, and you know, in your ear. So okay. if you have a dedicated team, you could just practice, you know, like having two people do this, four people, six people do this at one oh, time. Shit, one more again. That way you're moving into the next phase, okay? It could be hard for like some of the newer players that really don't know yeah, when to though. tell you to stop. But just make sure you have everybody on the dude that's yeah, trying to read it. That way they can help with the ads and he could be at peace while he's I'm helping you, okay? All right, after you line up all the symbols, you want to just get everybody to stack up together and you're going to move together either way you want to move, yeah, which is going to be clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on where your team is at the DPS. Try to not let, or try to not have anybody standing in front of the vent. Sometimes it happens, but you want people to be like on the outside of the vents, okay? Like right here. We all want to be outside of the vents and this is like the nuisance of why I want you to be up top when you DPS because if you see this man it's it's just a bunch of like craziness getting stuck everywhere and you know then we're going to like people are going to cross but that's my fault for crossing if you get stuck behind you could just come up through the top side and you don't really have to worry okay it's not you don't have to go through uh the the fire all right, so once you finish the fire stage, you're gonna send everybody up top. I want everybody to go up top at this point when it becomes time for me to change the levers, okay? I'm gonna just try to keep them healed while they go up, and then I'm gonna start going over to do the pressures, okay? So these pressures are really simple, especially if you're the healer, man. Sometimes you're gonna get shot. So what you wanna do when you're getting shot is you wanna call out who's shooting you and you wanna get into cover, okay? You don't wanna like try to heal through the damage. Because you won't always do that, all right? Just being honest with you, you got to play kind of like intelligently, you know, with your positioning. And once you get that done, you're back at the top and you're here healing your team for the final part and making this part, this boss really easy, guys. So this is the hardest boss. In my opinion, like, I'm sure. I've done, I've done the raid 20 something times, like I said, almost 30 times completed. And this is definitely the hardest boss in my opinion and you know I'm, I'm gonna stick to that so you guys let me know in the comments below what you think is the hardest boss let me also know if this video helped you man i'm always trying to bring you those bangers and trying to show you the way man so shout out to everybody again that supports me and the stream and the channel make sure you guys follow our twitch streams we're gonna be live later playing uh did some division and then we're gonna play gta today because it's uh saturday so love you guys man thank you for watching my content and be safe, baby. Peace. I'm on red. Oh, yeah. Get them completions, baby. Okay, okay.